Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and also helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So in today's video, we're going to be covering geometry and we're going to be finding an angle of a particular shape. And this will be the first part in this series. So what we have going on here is that we have this weird funkified shape here. And we have to determine this angle of B down here labeled with a question mark. And we are told a little bit of information here. We are given random um, angles of 40 over here, 36 over here, and then other angles in terms of variables here, such as Z, X, and Y. We are also told that lines B, C to D is a straight line. D, E to F is a straight line. A, H, G, E is also a straight line, and H, J, C is also a straight line. We are also told that B, C, D down here is parallel to A, H, G, E up here. And all values or all angles are shown in degrees. So how do we get to our angle down here at B? Well, we can use this information right here, which will be extremely helpful, and the straight lines. So angle B right here. If we extend this line AB up like this, since A, H, G, E, and B, C, D are parallel, this AB line acts as a transversal line intersecting these two parallel lines. So this angle right here of B is actually equal to this angle up here. Because if you have two parallel lines intersecting by a transversal line, you get corresponding angles inside and outside the lines. So this is actually the angle we're looking for, which would be equal to B down here. So how do we get there? Well, we're going to have to find out what this angle is on this side, because this is a total of 180 degrees here, since it's a straight line. <clears throat> and we're going to have to find out what the Z variable is. Well, Z occurs down here as well, over here as well. Okay, well, looking down here at D, well, how can we correlate this to anything? Well, we can use the parallel lines again. Well, parallel line, parallel line, this line of D, E, F is intersecting these two parallel lines. It is a transversal line. So this angle right here of D is equal to this angle up here at E. So that means that we have to find this angle here. Well, how can we find this angle? Well, we're going to have to utilize this triangle of E, F, G and this straight line right here. So let's go ahead and work on that, get our variables of x, y, and z, and then we can finally find our angle over here that we are looking for. All right, so let's start in with triangle FEG here. Well, we know that the total of these angles have to be equal to 180 degrees because that's the total amount inside of a triangle. So we are going to have 2x minus 3 for that top one in F plus y plus 9 there at E. And then finally, plus 4x minus off 24 has to be equal to 180 degrees. And all that is is just taking these three angles right here and adding them together. Well, we have x and y inside this equation. So we can't really solve for either one of these variables. But what we can use here is that we can use this total right here, this angle at E. Because this is a straight line of D, E, F. That means that these angles right here corresponding at E have to be up to 180 degrees as well. So from the line D, E, F, looking at angle E, we will have Y plus 9 plus X plus 14 from this angle right here, and then plus our 40 here also have to add up to be 180 degrees. So let's go ahead and let's rearrange this equation that I just wrote in for y equals of x, and then we're going to plug it in for y up here, and then we're going to solve. Alrighty. So we would have rearranging this, we would have y plus x plus 63 is equal to 180. So that means that y is simply 117 minus off x. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to take this y and plug it in up here, and then we can get x, and then we can get y as well. So plugging in that y up into our top portion, we get 2x minus 3 plus 117 minus off x plus 9 plus 4x minus off 24 is equal to 108. So simplifying this down, we end up with 5x plus 99 is equal to 180. Thus, we would have 5x is equal to 81, 
and then keep scrolling, then we would have x is equal to 81 divided by 5, which gives us 16.2. So we can take the 16.2, plug it in to our y equation right here, which means that y would be 117 minus 16.2, which gives us 100.8 as our y variable value. So now that we have the y variable at 100.8, we can find out what this or this uh, angle is right here, which would be equal to this value down here. Okay, so we would have 108 or 100.8 plus 9 for this angle, for the angle E, and we're going to set it equal to our angle D down here, which is Z plus 25. So rearranging and solving here, we end up with the Z is equal to 84.8 as our value. And the reason why we can set these two equal together once again is because we have our parallel lines here. Alrighty, so now that we have z, what we can do is we can hop over to this angle over here. So let's go over and hop over that angle right there. And let's determine what our b angle is right here. So since it is a straight line, our angle b will be this. Angle B will be equal to 180 minus off 36 and then minus off Z minus off 47.6. And we're going to take that 84.8 and plug it in there. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do this. And when you do this, 180 minus off 36 minus off 84.4. And remember this turns into a positive then. So then our angle B pops out to be 106.8 degrees. And that is our final answer. And we can say that this angle right here is equal to our angle in question due to the parallel lines. And that's how you would solve that particular problem. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see more problem solvers Friday, please check out the other videos on our channel. And as I will mention here, this is not the only way that you can solve this particular problem. There are other ways that you can solve it. <clears throat> the one procedure that I showed here is not necessarily the best, the fastest or the slowest. It's just one possible method. So if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel because all of that does assist us. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.